This week, I'm taking my fine, flat, lifeless hair to full and curled with movement and body, so let's go. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, I'm Summer. I recently took out my hair extensions that were giving me my thick hair goals and volume, but it was time for a break, and of course, I'm left feeling like I have no hair and just very meh about it. So typically how I like to combat my flat, fine, straight hair when not having extensions in it is that I love to curl it. It just gives it, I feel, so much more body and movement and I feel I can get away with more days in between washes with my hair curled versus straight. So I thought it would be a fun video to show you how I like to use an iron on my hair for my curls and adding fullness. Today I will be using Tymo's Aqua for curling my hair. I have used a few different tools from them, so I am very excited to try this out. I will be breaking down all of its features as we go through this curling tutorial and I can't wait to see how this beauty performs. So first things first, I like to prep my hair for curling with a somewhat effortish blow dry. I like to use all the volume products, so use your favorite root lifter and mousse and my tip would be to use a medium to strong hold gel depending on how well or not well your hair holds curl. For myself, I feel like the gel just gives my curl a little bit more hold. You can use a blow dry cream with hold too if you don't like a gel and I will link some of my favorite options in the description below. The Tymo Aqua is a one and a quarter inch barrel curling iron coming with both a glove and clips to give you the tools for a nice curling experience retailing for $99.99. What separates this iron from others is that it takes moisture from the air, see all these little holes, and it puts it back into your hair while curling, reducing heat damage and adding moisture to the hair, boasting to leave your hair feeling healthy and shiny. I am always down for cool technology and hair tools. And the best way they describe this is that it's like a sauna treatment for your hair and I can get down with that. This is a 50 second heat up time, nano titanium coating, so it's gonna help with shine as well, and five temperature settings ranging from 250 to 390 degrees Fahrenheit. Now that I have my hair fully dry, I'm going to select my heat temperature. If you have super coarse thick hair, you might opt for the highest heat setting, and while my hair is on the finer, very straight side, I do opt for somewhere in the middle to even high middle. While I'm not looking to overdo it on my hair, you do need the heat to get that curl in place, especially if your hair is resistant to holding curl. So I'm going to go with the fourth heat setting, so this is putting me probably right at 360 degrees. So I'm just gonna section off my hair, nothing fancy, using one of the clips coming with the iron, and I will start from the bottom and work my way up. While this iron suggests that the hydration it offers helps with heat damage, I still like to use a heat protectant just for a little extra TLC, and I will again link some options below of my favorites. So I will first spray my section with my heat protectant, and then I like to spray with hairspray prior to my iron just to give it a little extra boost of hold. That step is optional, but if you choose to do so, you definitely want to use a working spray. Okay, so I, like I said, like to start in the back and just work my way up. And I like to start on my outer corners and I prefer to roll everything back away from my face. So I'm just gonna take the iron, clamp side out, place in my hair and wrap up. I like to start in the middle section of the hair and I typically like to do it a little tighter at first. So I will wrap up pretty much all of the hair. I leave just a little bit out on the ends and I like to count anywhere from 10 to 20 seconds to really get that curl to bend in place. That is key, especially if you have very resistant hair to curling. All right, and then we're just gonna let it out. Oh yeah, that's a nice little spring to it. It's super soft feeling, especially even with the hairspray and iron spray. And then I like to just directly go into my other side, again, clamp side out. And I am doing mine on the lightly tighter side at first, rolling up more of that hair into the iron, not leaving so much hair out, just because the hair is naturally going to fall on its own. So if you have very resistant hair to curling it, do it a little tighter at first. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but I can see a little bit of that steam coming off from the aqua. That's sauna treatment. Oh yeah. It's definitely more bouncy and springy, I will say, compared to when I do other irons. So that is nice. 
Okay, and then when I get to my back, instead of curling this whole piece of hair, I'm just gonna separate it into two. And then again, I'm curling these away from my face. So I'm bringing the hair forward, clamp side is out, and wrap. Okay, so we have our first section done. Got nice curls going there. And then I like to just spray with a coat of hairspray, just slightly before moving on to the next section. I always find that helps just give that extra hold to use if you need the extra hold with your curls. Okay, and then so moving on to my next section, I'm just literally letting my hair down and moving up my head and clipping the rest of this hair up. So another thing that you can do to add a little extra body is I like to come in and sort of tease a little bit each section just because my hair is so flat to my head. So I will just lightly tease it or as much as you want. You don't have to do this part, but it does create just a little bit more body um, so you can do it over your whole entire head if you want, or you can do it in just set sections. Um, a lot of times I'll just do my crown area. So keep that in mind if you're looking for something to just lightly kick up the fullness everywhere. Teasing, you can never go wrong with teasing. I'm obsessed with teasing. And then just let it out really gentle. Try not to touch it too much. Once you've let it out from the hair, you want it to be able to fully cool down. That way you're not pulling out the curl. And then again, I'm pretty much curling all the hair up into the iron. I'm not really leaving that much hair out. That's because I'm looking to just really kind of tighten up everything as it's just gonna naturally fall a little bit on its own. Remember to tease each section when curling for the most lift, and I will touch on some teasing tips in just a little bit. I can see the steam going around. Sauna treatments, not a bad way to describe this. So again, I'm going through and teasing as I move through each individual piece, you can, if you wanted to, tease the whole section and then curl, but I just kind of will tease each piece as I go. And like I said, you don't have to tease everything. This is just how I like to do it because I find it helps just give me the extra height at my root. Okay, so now that I am in my next section, again, I'm gonna come up and tease. So I'm gonna pull the hair all the way up, fine side of your comb if you're unfamiliar with teasing. And I just am gonna go down about six back combs. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I like to do an even amount of back combing for each section so that way you're getting the same sort of lift. It just creates a little bit more poof. So these front side sections of my hair are like the number one reason why I like to wear extensions because my sides just don't grow at all. Um, my hair does way better naturally when it's short, but I like changing it up. So that's why I'm growing it out for the extensions. But because of this, this is why I choose to curl my hair when I have my extensions out more, just because it fills it in more, thickens it up everywhere, blends in where I'm a little bit more naturally thin. Um, so, time aqua, do your magic. And again, I'm counting to about 10 to 20 seconds, definitely more on the 20 second side before I'm letting it out. And then again, as I let it out, I'm just opening up my clamp and slightly pulling. So that way I maintain the whole curl pattern and I'm not pulling anything out as I go. So another nice thing that I do love about Tymo 
Just in general, they almost with like all their products give you a travel bag. So this as well comes with a travel bag. Again, it comes with a glove and the two clips. So it's great for if you're on vacation somewhere or going on a girl's weekend or with your hubby, whatever, you've got a nice way to secure this so it doesn't get all dinged up, dented. So I always appreciate that they give you a travel option to carry your tools with Timo. So one thing I wanna make note, while I'm wrapping most of my hair in the iron, I'm not doing this traditional start from the bottom like the old school method. I'm coming right in the middle, placing in my iron, letting my clamp down, and then rolling. So it starts at a little bit more of a halfway point to keep it a little softer. And again, you can leave out a little bit of the ends. I just prefer to wrap up a little bit more for my first day. And then when I touch up in the morning, anything that might need touched up, I just kind of go in at random and I might do softer ones, thicker sections. It all just depends on kind of what I'm feeling and how it looks. Okay, so now that I'm moving further up my head into the sides, I like to just go back and forth between my side section. So I'll just let down a little bit at a time versus the whole piece of my um, next area. So I'm gonna lift up again. First, we're gonna spray with our heat protectant, then a little hairspray. I'm still gonna tease. And then I like to sometimes to get a little bit more body, hold my hair all the way up, come in with my iron, sort of almost like I'm over directing and try to keep that hair lifted straight up. So it's creating a little bit more height versus if I'm coming just straight down or at a vertical with it, just to keep the bend flowing at the root nice. And then we're slowly letting out the section and I'm gonna choose to spray it immediately with my hairspray, just because I wanna maintain as much height here as possible. So sometimes I'll even slide my finger underneath it, hold it up, and spray. That way as it cools, it's still got that nice bend to it. All right, so now I'm gonna move in to this other side here. Just splitting in half. So again, I'm pulling up and rolling down with it to try to slightly over direct and get a little bit of extra bend, especially in this top area on my right side. It's like, I feel like I'm bald and as flat as can be on this side of my head. So I'm always fighting to get the extra lift and volume that I want here. It drives me crazy. I know not everyone's hair is perfect, but if I could at least just have a little more thickness on this side, I feel like my hair would be more acceptable in my mind. Okay, so I'm gonna let this out. And then again, I'm gonna sort of almost retwist with my hands to create a little bit more curl here and spray just so it gets a little bit more spring to it and I get a little bit more hold of volume here where I've got that bound bend. And then I'm gonna move on to my next piece. And again, we're gonna slowly let out. And I'm gonna lightly kinda sorta twist with my fingers to keep that bend, spray. And then let my hand fall back down but just to keep a little extra spring. You could opt to do a pin um, after letting out the hair, but I don't know. I feel like that just gets to be too time consuming and it throws in an extra curveball there. So sometimes I feel like it's easier to just kind of push it up with my fingers and then spray it to set it into place. And then again, as I'm moving up my head, I'm not running my fingers through any of the hair that's already curled. I'm really letting those set in and cool down. And then once I'm done with the top and I let that cool, I'll show you guys how I like to sort of run my hands through it just to soften it up a little bit, but without putting too much 
um, fingering or combing to my hair. So I've got about three more sections left to curl and then we will almost be done. So one thing I will say that I'm noticing while using this iron is each individual curl that I let out, the hair, it definitely does have a much like softer, hydrated feel. Um, sometimes with the amount of hairspray or heat protectant that I spray in with other curling irons, I almost sort of have like a crunch um, feel to it. it. When I'm letting it out, like it gets a little stiff, uh, which I am not noticing that at all with this. So there's definitely something to the hydration that it takes from the moisture in the air, putting it into your hair, which is, I would definitely could see how it would help keep your hair hydrated and a little bit more healthy while curling versus other curling irons. I don't know how many people like a stiff feel with their curls. So if you don't, this iron might just be for you because it definitely keeps them very soft feeling as I've been letting out each curl. Okay, so now that I am to my final top sections, where I part my hair. I'm still gonna tease, but I'm not going to tease quite as much just cause I wanna be able to keep it soft as far as to blend in. So instead of let's say doing six, I'm only gonna do about three. So fine side of my comb, lift my hair. So just enough that I get a little bit of a lift here, but it'll be easier for me to smooth through. And then with keeping my hair lifted, I'm gonna roll into it, keeping the curvature at the top to create that shape a little bit more for my height. Then again, I'm finishing off this last section with same teasing that I did on this last top part, just three teases. Remember, you can sort of twist the curl with your fingers and set with hairspray to create just a little extra curl and volume. Now, we have our last piece. Okay, so now that I have it all curled, I'm going to do one final coat of hairspray and I'm going to let it sit and cool down before running through my, my hands to smooth it out. Okay, so now my hair is cooled down. So literally to fluff through it, I just sort of like to mess up with my hands a little bit. I'll flip my head and just run my hands through my hair, use my comb a little bit if need be. Okay, so I've just used my comb to kind of smooth out where I had it teased and just run my hands through it and Look at all the body and volume that I have. And my ends feel super soft, super hydrated. That I am not gonna complain about. I feel like there's a lot of shine to my hair too, which sometimes, like I said, with all the hairspray that I do, I get a little crunch with traditional irons. So all the little sauna spa treatment my hair got makes a difference. This look is so easy and doable for just about everyone. I really did enjoy using this iron from Tymo the Aqua. Listen, any extra help to give our hair more hydration and protection is a win-win to me. I really have enjoyed every product I've used from them. They've got good prices, a lot of different options, and this is another one to add to my list of faves. This again retails for just under $100, $99.99, and I will have a discount code linked below if you want to check it out as well as my other favorite product suggestions for helping your curls to hold a little bit more. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this week's video. Keep those curls a little tighter at first if you feel like your hair tends to fall fast and for your second or third day just touch up as needed. You don't always have to re-curl your entire head. Please like, share, and subscribe and I will see you guys next week.